welcome back. Today we're making this really cute shamrock hairpin. And I'm going to show you how to attach it to pretty much any type of hair clip. So let's get started. On a 60 inch strand of cotton cord, we're going to divide it into three sections. To do this, fold your cord in half and place the ends at the top. Next, grab the bottom loop end and place it in the middle. Adjust all three sections to make it even. It should look something like this. You'll have two ends with a loop and one end that is open. Next, grab one of your ends and loop it around itself. Then repeat with the other two sides. And take care to make sure that all your loops are facing the same direction. As you can see, when you make a loop, your tail end should be facing the next loop. This is crucial for the next step. So grab any tail end and you want to place it right through the top of the loop next door. Then repeat the same process with your other tail ends. Once you have all your tail ends through the loops, you want to start cinching up the slack. But be very careful and take your time with this because you don't want your cords to overlap or start cinching. So gently work your way around and tighten up the slack. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video, but make sure that you're taking your time with this part. Once you have it looking the way you want it, it's time to flip it over. Now is the time to figure out which type of hair clip you want to attach it to. My first one, I actually attached it to a bobby pin and I think I like this suede the best. All methods are the same except for the hair elastic, so I'm going to briefly show you how to attach the hair elastic. And it's quite simple, all you have to do is slide it through one of your ends. And then continue on with the next step which I'm showing you right now. However, I decided that I don't want mine on a hair elastic, I'm going to add mine on a clip. But this next step is still the same anyways, just without the elastic. All we're doing here is tying a three strand Chinese crown knot. I have a more in-depth tutorial on crown knots, I'll leave it in the cards above. Next we're going to attach our beads, and what I'm using here is just a small piece of fishing line. I'm using this as a threader. I sometimes find it really tricky to get single strand cotton through a bead, I've seen people use masking tape to help them, but I kind of like my homemade threader. I find it less wasteful because I can reuse the fishing line over and over. Once you have both beads on, we're going to secure it with just a regular overhand knot. Repeat on the other side and I like to have my knot even. Once you have your knot secure, snip off the excess rope. Now is a good time to readjust it just to make sure everything is straight and how you like it. Because now we're going to flip it over and snip off the ends. To prevent it from unraveling, we're just going to dab a little bit of hot glue right at the end here. We don't want a lot, it's just enough to make sure that it won't slip through. And of course, we're going to repeat on the other side. I'm going to take a sip of my green tea right now because we want to wait to make sure that our hot glue is dry. If you want to attach it onto a bobby pin, all you have to do is just slide the bobby pin in through the top. I prefer it like this, however, I'm going to attach this one onto a clip. I had one of these old clips lying around, so I'm going to use this one. To attach it, we're just going to hot glue right at the very tip here. You don't want to go further down because you don't want to impede the bending of the clip. Also, take note on which side you want your hair clip to be on. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue at the end, and then I'm going to secure it onto my shamrock. If you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button. That way I know to make more content just like this one. And if you're new, I hope you consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.